Hey, what's going on? It's Doug Cunnington here. And in this video, I'm going to tell you about internal linking. Internal links are basically like hyperlinks on your site that are pointing to other pages that are also on your site. So it allows someone to like see a term, see a topic, and then click that link and then read more about it on your site. And those interlinks, uh, you know, they do a couple things. One, it's more engagement on your site. So someone is learning more from your site. They don't have to go to Google or anywhere to look up more information. They can just get more information right there on your site. So that's, that's good from an engagement standpoint. Additionally, when you have those links, um, Google crawls your site, you know, they index everything in the world, and then they, they can see that this link is pointing to this other piece of content and hopefully they're relevant and they see that you know there's a link going there and that is helpful in some way. So uh, backlinks just in a general sense are sort of like a vote for a piece of content and those votes can also come from within your site. So there's a very big simplification there but go with me on this. The point is these internal links are important and when you're publishing content, you may be aware that you need to add some internal links. So let's say you write a new post and then you're gonna add some internal links to go to some of the older posts. This is fairly straightforward and most people you know, are aware to do that. If, if you're not doing that, you should. The thing that's a little bit harder is when you publish that new post or let's say you've been publishing um, some content and you have say 15 or 20 posts out there and you've placed internal links to other posts, that's great. However, you don't have any links pointing to the new post that you just published from older posts. That is kind of a pain in the ass to do and that's why a lot of people end up missing that part of the puzzle. Now, it's not hard to do, especially when you're looking at like a one-off you know, post, right? If you publish one post and you're, you, know, you publish it and you're thinking, hey, I'm gonna add some links, not a big deal. You can go search through some other posts where you know it's like relevant to link to that new piece of content, not a big deal. However, most of the time, most people overlook it, right? So you publish some content and you end up with 15 or 20 or 100 posts out there, new posts that don't have any links going from like the older post. So in that case, it is a bit overwhelming. It's a little hard to manage. And um, a lot of times when those two things happen, you just don't do it. And that's what I did or did not do for a very long time. So one route that you can take is simply like, make a list, you know, get a spreadsheet, make a list of all the URLs that you have, and then you can sort of log um, like the links. You can manually look through. That takes a long time. It's very time consuming. Don't do it that way. Let's look at three examples of interlinking that are done really well. And I'm gonna throw myself in the mix too. Um, we're looking at Neil Patel's site, neilpatel.com. And just, I arbitrarily picked a, a blog post here. And, and Neil links, internally all over the place and he links externally as well so this is an external link here we see an internal link here and we'll just kind of scroll down and you can see there's another internal link right here we got another uh, external link and it gets kind of boring if I just keep reading but you can see there's a ton of internal linking through here here's a link to Moz right there and the point is there's a lot of different places that you can interlink, especially if you publish a ton of content like Neil and he's uh, constantly like making internal links and external links, which is totally natural. His uh, content is often long form. Um, a lot of times I'll put in videos here, like you see, and uh, let's look at my site now. So this is niche site project. We're looking at the, uh, like one of these ultimate guides for the Amazon affiliate niche site and We'll see here. So I link out to a smart passive income, share sale, ClickBank here. Um, here's a couple internal links right here. And then you'll see something interesting. Once I, you know, there's a few external links some more other things in here, but I do have like a couple areas of like navigation. So this goes to Project A White Hat. This goes to how much you can make with Amazon affiliate sites. This goes to uh, YouTube, so not technically an internal link, but it's keeping people like engaged with the work that I'm doing. And let me get down to this sort of table of contents type zone right here. So we have internal links, and this is actually a silo, all right? So there's links throughout, and you can see that 
you know, I'm on board with the internal linking structure here. Next, we're going to look at the blog over at Hrefs, and this is a meta situation. So this is literally a blog post about internal linking. So you should go have a look at it. And um, again, as normal, external link over here to my friends at Ninja Outreach. You have a uh, an Ahrefs link right here. You have a link to Google and we'll just sort of scroll down and you can see there's quite a few like just links in general. And you will also notice we have like a topic cluster uh, mention here, which they talk uh, or they link over to HubSpot and so on. The point is there's a lot of internal links here and external links. And with the external links, you can, you know, link to things that are super relevant to what you're talking about and the internal links can be very helpful as well, which is of course the topic of the discussion today. There are other like tools and crawlers out there. I think Screaming Frog has some functionality to do this. You could use a tool like Ahrefs or SEMrush or so on, right? There's a lot of tools that will let you know like internally where you know links are going. Additionally, a free option is the Search Console. So the Google Search Console, you can hop in there, sort of get an idea of your internal backlink profile. So that's great. Recently, a tool has been released. It's a WordPress plugin called Link Whisper, and I've been using that. And it was put out by one of my friends, Spencer Hawes over at Niche Pursuits, and it works really well for the most part. There's many, I'll do a tutorial on the, on the whole tool, but um, basically you have an option to add links whenever you're publishing a new article. It'll sort of uh, you know, give you some options. It uses uh, an algorithm to try and figure out like what, what relevant links may be uh, good to add in that particular post. However, there's also a great piece of functionality where you can like run a report on all the URLs on your site and then you can see how many internal links they have pointing to it. They, you can see how many internal links are pointing to other posts from that post and you can see the number of external links. So it's a pretty like powerful report and it's sort of a slice of the functionality that you can get from a tool like Screaming Frog. And it's right there on your WordPress dashboard. So very convenient. There's no major issues with using Link Whisper. It's not a very expensive tool for the most part, especially if you have a big site, it's a great time saver, but there are some quirks with it. So like if you have a particular post that you're trying to build links to, but it's a topic that you don't cover elsewhere on your site, you're gonna have to uh, like do some more manual work. So anyway, I'll do more tutorials about using Link Whisper, but basically you should be adding internal links. And, you know, as a rule of thumb, I would usually tell people, hey, add two to five internal links for every post that you're publishing and every post should have like two to five links going to it. That way you end up with sort of a, a good like web of links on your own site. Now, the thing is, it's kind of a sloppy approach. So recently, with the aid of Link Whisper, I was able to like improve the rankings on a few posts, and I'm testing this before I'm rolling it out in like a big way, but I was able to improve the rankings significantly for a couple terms on a niche site project, and I can see like there's more impressions on the search console, there's more clicks, and there's more traffic on those pages. So it's very worthwhile and I encourage you to just like pick one post, try it out, see what you can do with it, like build links to it internally. And then hopefully, you know, your rankings will move up or you will get some sort of feedback. If you have any questions on internal linking, leave a comment below. I'll do my best to either do a video on it or answer you directly in the comments below. Again, I found it to be like very effective in like a very quick way. So one of the very cool things with the internal linking is you seem to get a like result and impact within a few days instead of like if you get an external backlink, it may take a pretty long time for the results to show show up and like rankings to move up and all that. But like these internal links, like all on your site, like you get an impact really fast. So if you're new to the channel, have a look at some of the other videos. If you like what you see, or if you found this video helpful, hit the thumbs up or leave a comment, say, hey, I dug this video. And if you do like these topics, subscribe. Thanks.